Okay, um, we are back. Uh, in class we did only problem number one of this packet of complex roots, and uh, now we are going to do just uh, number two and number three. So, let's do it. Uh, here is number two. Uh, we are given this function, uh, x cubed plus x squared uh, minus 15x plus 25. And just notice by inspection, this is a polynomial. The polynomial has a real coefficients, and so all of our sort of theorems apply. Uh, I should also note that there's no guessing required on this particular packet at all. I know that we, we started this unit uh, looking for roots of polynomials by, by just blind guessing, and then we, we used the rational root theorem to, to narrow it down. Uh, but now we're in a kind of a no-guessing uh, zone uh, for, for a little while because, in fact, I'm going to give you right now sufficient information such that you can find all of the roots of this polynomial. So uh, I have just, I'm just telling you, you know, secret kind of guardian angel style that uh, 2 minus i is a root. Okay, and I claim that this is sufficient information to determine the other roots. Uh, why? Well, um, we just proved in the video that you just watched that complex roots come in conjugate pairs. And so, uh, since f minus 2i is a root, um, then f uh, of 2 plus i is a root also. And now, uh, I know two of the three roots. And so now, I shall use the factor theorem. The factor theorem says that uh, if 2 minus i is a root, then uh, x minus uh, 2 minus i is a factor. And the factor theorem says that if 2 plus i is a root, then x minus uh, 2 plus i is a factor. And so what I can now say is that uh, I'm not sure exactly what this function looks like, but uh, I know that it must look like you know this times this times some other stuff, basically. Uh, okay. Uh, so, so each of these are factors of that. All right, well now we repeat the same sort of trick from class where we simplify things by distributing that negative. So we get x minus 2 uh, plus i. And then here, when we distribute the negative, we get x minus 2 uh, minus i. And if each of those are factors, it might be nice to multiply them through. And here I do that, because this is of the form a plus b, a minus b, so that's a difference of squares. And so if I just multiply that out, I get x minus 2 squared, uh, well, minus i squared, okay, which, which is negative 1, times some stuff. And, okay, simplifying this, um, I get uh, that this is x squared minus 4x, then plus 4, but minus i squared is plus 1, so that's plus 5. I think this is the exact, well, okay. So times, so, what I've just shown is that knowledge that 2 minus i and 2 plus i are, are roots of this function, that uh, x squared minus 4x plus 5 is a factor of this polynomial. And then, of course, uh, the, the polynomial itself is, is given to us at the outset, uh, and so... Uh, the only thing left to do is to find out what this is. Okay, so if, if this quadratic times something equals this cubic, uh, and, and I want to know what that something is, then I think it's obvious that we can just do polynomial long division. So, let's do it. Uh, I think I can fit it right here. So, x squared minus 4x plus 5. I'm going to divide that into uh, x cubed plus x squared minus 15x plus 25. And it has to go in evenly, um, because, well, it just has to, because that's what we've, we've proven, that it is, in fact, a factor. Okay, so, uh, well, how many times does it go in? x squared goes into x cubed uh, x times, so, boom. Uh, multiplying back through gives me x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5x. Now, we subtract, uh, being very careful, 1 minus negative 4 is 5x squared. Uh, negative 15 minus 5 is negative 20, and then plus 25. Uh, and how many times is x squared going to 5x squared? 5 times. Uh, and that gives me 5x squared minus 20x 
plus 25. Okay, so if I was extremely confident, I could have even skipped that step, but it is helpful to, I think, finish out the, the polynomial division, uh, which demonstrates uh, that uh, this remainder over here is x plus 5. Uh, and therefore, uh, conclusion, what does this function look like? Well, I now know that this function is really uh, x plus 5 times um, x squared minus 4x plus 5. And if the overall goal was to, to find the roots, well, now I just tell you that the roots are, there are, there's the root that I was given, there's the root that I inferred, because complex roots come in conjugate pairs, and then there's the, the third root is negative 5, uh, which I got from, from polynomial long division. Okay, I think that was pretty easy. Uh, 3 is uh, kind, of, kind of similar, but just like harder or something. Uh, so let's go. I'm going to erase this whole board, and then this will be the only other thing happening in this video. Okay. Uh, so, number three. What is it? Uh, a big, giant, disgusting function. It is x to the fifth minus x to the fourth minus 32x cubed, I'm going to write small, uh, plus 157x squared minus 207x uh, and uh, plus 26. And I am given two facts. Fact one uh, is that f of 3 minus 2i is a root. Okay, well, from this fact, I immediately conclude, because complex roots come in conjugate pairs, uh, when the coefficients of the polynomial are real, that uh, 3 plus 2i is a root. Okay, and now comes the, the sort of new thing. You're also told that negative 7 halves uh, minus root 53 over 2 is a root. And uh, now notice that it's also true that all of the coefficients of this polynomial are rational. In fact, they're even just integers. Uh, therefore, if some kind of number of this form is a root, I conclude that negative 7 halves plus root 53 over 2 uh, is a root as well. This is the uh, theorem that you proved on the back of the worksheet. Okay, so uh, keeping that all in mind, I now have, this is a fifth degree polynomial, so, uh, uh, so now sort of, sort of five, uh, four of the five roots are now known. I know that 3 minus 2i is a root, I know that 3 plus 2i is a root, I know that this is a root, I know that this is a root. And so I just need that, that fifth root. Okay, so this is just a kind of a harder version of, of the previous problem. What I'm now going to do is to write out a gigantic expression applying the factor theorem four times. So what does this function look like? 3 minus 2i is a factor, is a, is a root, so x minus uh, 3 minus 2i is a factor. 3 plus 2i is a root, so x minus uh, 3 plus 2i is a factor. It's just an excuse to get really good at algebra. Uh, next, that is a root. Well, if that's a root, then x minus it is a factor. So x minus, I'm being very, no, I'm being very careful with my like fractions and parentheses and stuff like that. Uh, negative 7 halves minus root 53 over 2 is a factor, and uh, since negative 7 halves plus root 53 over 2 is a root, x minus that number is a factor. Cha, cha, cha. And then there's some leftover stuff. And uh, everything I need to know is, is hidden over there in that, in that leftover stuff. Okay, so now we perform some simplifications. So we multiply through, we get x minus 3, uh, plus 2i, so sort of regrouping here again, this becomes x minus 3 uh, minus 2i, and then, all right, what's happening here? Well, I can once again distribute the negative, so this becomes x plus 
7 halves plus root 53 over 2, cha cha cha, and uh, distributing that negative becomes x plus 7 halves uh, minus root 53 over 2, cha cha cha, and some left over. Okay, now uh, let's uh, multiply these together because they're on the difference of squares format. So this gives me x minus 3 squared. Uh, when I multiply 2i times negative 2i, I get negative 4i squared. Um, so that just becomes plus 4. And when I multiply these two, uh, what do I get? Well, x plus, well, this is also in the difference of squares format. So I get x plus 7 halves uh, quantity squared. And then minus root 53 over 2 times negative root 53 over 2 is minus 53 over 4. Cha, cha, cha. Okay. Uh, times some leftover stuff. Okay. Continuing to simplify, this becomes, uh, oh boy, <laughs> this becomes uh, x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus 4, so it's plus 13. And here, uh, I get, well, let's do this, I get x squared, uh, when you square this binomial, this becomes uh, plus 7x, and then plus, well, uh, that's 49 fourths, but then that's minus 53 fourths. So, the bottom line is, uh, and then sometimes some leftover. Okay, so I did all this hard work, and I found out that basically that uh, x squared minus 6x plus 13 is that quadratic is a factor of this uh, quintic and that x squared plus 7x minus 1 is a factor of this quintic. Alright, having done that, what's my whole goal again? To find that fifth root. So to find that fifth root, uh, I have two options. I can do two rounds of polynomial long division, not recommended. First, dividing this quadratic into this quintic, getting a cubic, and then dividing this quadratic into that cubic to get this linear function. Uh, what's probably faster is to first multiply these quadratics together to get a quartic. So let's do that. So, and now I'm going to do this in a kind of a fancy way or something. So I'm going to, over off to the side here, I'm going to multiply these two quadratics. Uh, it's just a big kind of uh, distributed property foiling situation, but to keep it nice and organized, when I multiply x squared by x squared, I get x to the fourth. Uh, x squared times 7x gives me uh, 7x cubed, and then minus x squared. But now, uh, some kid taught me this, when I go to the next term, that's minus 6x cubed, if you just kind of do this, like a little, kind of like modified box sort of system. Minus, uh, 42x squared, uh, and then uh, that's plus 6x, uh, and then finally that's 13x squared, uh, plus 7 times 13 is 70, and 21 says so 91x minus 13. So this just makes it easier to add, I guess. Um, so this is minus x cubed, oh man, uh, what's this? Minus 43 and 13. So that's minus 30x squared plus 97x minus 13. Okay, so I get this. This was my scratch work on the side. What I really have, well, maybe I'll just write it out. What I really have is that this quintic must be of the form x to the fourth minus x cubed minus 30x squared plus 97x minus 13 times some leftover stuff. And to find the leftover stuff, I just divide this quartic into this quintic. Okay, so no one's going to do this for me, so I'm just going to start. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, sure. So x to the fourth minus x cubed minus 30x squared plus 97x minus 13. All of that is going to get divided. I think I'm actually going to fit this is going to get divided into 
the original, which is x to the fifth minus x to the fourth uh, minus 32x cubed plus 157x squared minus 207x plus 26. Also, it's comical to think that uh, I gave you enough space uh, on this uh, worksheet uh, for this task, so sorry about that. Um, anyway, here we go. I'll switch to, to, to blue, maybe, to actually do it. Uh, and this part's not that hard. Oh, and it has to go in evenly. If it doesn't, it means we made a terrible uh, mistake. But I don't think I... I don't think I have. Okay, so how many times is x to the fourth going to x to the fifth? x times. So I'll just stick that right there. Uh, okay, let's divide through. I get x to the fifth. Um, minus x to the fourth minus 30 x squared. Wait, that, that scares me. No, everything's fine, I guess. Um, plus 97 x squared uh, minus 13 x. Okay, now I subtract. Uh, and... Wait, what? Uh-oh. Uh, I think I did make a mistake. Oh, right here. Whoops! That should be 7x cubed minus 6x cubed is a plus. Good thing I prepped this problem in advance. That's a plus. So that's a plus. So that's a plus. So that's a plus. That was the only problem. Okay, now, uh, fix now. Now we subtract. So uh, negative uh, 1 minus negative 1 is negative 2x to the 4th. Uh, here we get uh, minus negative 30, so that's like plus 30. So it's also minus 2x. Jeez, that should be cubed. Uh, now this is plus 60x squared, 157 minus 97. Negative 207 minus negative 13, so that's like plus 13, so that's like minus 194. Uh, I think that's right. Minus negative 13 is just plus 13, mm-hmm. Sure, uh, because 7 and 6, yeah. And then uh, I bring down the, the 26. All right, finally, how many times does that go in? Minus two times. Okay, so this better all work out now. Negative two x to the fourth minus two x cubed um, plus 60 x squared. And that is indeed minus 194 x and plus 26. Okay, so I did make one small algebra mistake. I caught it, uh, but it does go in evenly. And the final result of all of this work is that this little excess thingy that I didn't know what it was, I now know that it is x minus 2. And so, um, the fifth root, so, so what are the, the roots? They are 3 uh, plus or minus 2i. They are negative 7 halves plus or minus root 53 over 2, and they are uh, 2. The last, the last root is, is 2. Okay, so this is kind of how I, I give the, the final answer. Four of them were, were given uh, to me, but the, the fifth one uh, I had to uh, infer uh, sort of indirectly. Okay, uh, that's it. Goodbye.